Yo, it's your boy, Kaiser Premium, and I'm here rocking with the film culture. Turn up. You ready? Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. I could be rolling up in this shit. Oh, yeah, you yeah. straight. All right, so you just did, you know, a show all about K Supreme. By the way, my name is Ija P. Shit. All right. What's up? My name is Ija P. It's nice to meet you. You too. So, you, too. you know, you just performed in Atlanta. You know, you've been in Atlanta for a while. Just yeah. tell us how was that How was that transition from, you know, California to Atlanta? What was that, you know, experience like the difference between two completely different states and yeah. two different cities? Yeah. Um, so when I first came out here in 2013, like, I was sad to the motherfucker because I ain't had no friends and shit. And, you know, it's a, it's a big ass difference from Cali and Atlanta is different as hell. So like when I first came here and my mom lived in the whack ass area, but it all paid off. Like everything like was set in stone. Like I, I really believe like in God do shit for a reason, like everything for a reason. Right. So I felt like everything, like me coming to that weird ass place, like my mom lived in Kennesaw. Right. Weird as a motherfucker out there. So um, when I moved there and shit, like, I just had met my friends, like I had met Yachty and all them, like during that time. So you feel me? It all paid off. It was weird at the moment when I first met. When I first moved here, I used to be so fucking sad. Like, Bang Two just came out. Like the the, the Chief Keep mixtape just came out. Right. And, I, and my mama made me move. Well, she ain't make me, but I had no choice to go, cause I ain't had no one else to live with. I was only 17. So when I moved out there, like. From out there, I was just sad. I remember I was alone in my room every day listening to Bang 2 by Sosa like, for like two, three months. And then I had met some niggas like at the, I had met one person, cause I seen him one day, this nigga had on like some shoes and shit that I liked and it was in Kennesaw, you know, I ain't seen no shit like that. Right. I just seen like, like nerdy people and shit. So, uh, so then when I seen him and he had the shoes on, and like it's crazy. Like I got connected to everybody else. That's how like I met Bold and then all my other homies and shit. So, so growing up, like even in California, was rapping always the goal? Was that the plan? Nah, I ain't start rap, bro. I ain't take this shit serious till 2017. Wow. So like yeah, like before I was just bullshitting, you know, just seeing Bold turn up. I used to just be around like doing shit, making my own way. I always was doing my shit on my own, making my own way. But I ain't really like really see like damn rap is real for me to yeah. like 2017. So you never saw yourself in the position you're in right now? No, nah, nah, honestly, hell no, nah, not really? rapping, no, nah, hell no. Nah. I didn't know what the fuck I was gonna do. Like I caught a little bullshit charge out here in, um, in Georgia. Like when all that Free K Supreme shit was going on and shit like that, like I had caught a charge and this before like rapping was serious. Like we was rapping and shit, but niggas wasn't getting no money from it or nothing right. like that. So like, yeah, like, like I ain't, I ain't, I ain't know, I ain't know what the fuck I was gonna do. But like I said, God do everything. Like everything is set in stone. So that's a fact. So now, how does it feel to finally like be on? You know, you're making money from it. You got the jewelry. You got the mm. fans going crazy. Mm. You got the singles going crazy. Mm. How does it feel for people to finally be all about K Supreme and everybody to just sing your songs? Uh, it's lit. I really like. I do really enjoy that shit. Like all bullshit aside, like not on no rap nigga shit. Like that shit really made me happy. Like looking at people fuck with me like that. Like that shit really made me happy. That's why I tell everybody like. On some personal shit, like I appreciate you, like for pulling up and fucking with me, bro. That really mean a lot to me. Cause without that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shit. So I wouldn't be doing this shit if people didn't fuck with me. So I really appreciate like, all that shit. Jewelry and shit is cool. Like hell yeah, who don't, who fucking like jewelry? Bro? Right. Like what really matters to me is like making, making, having people really like my music and like what what I do. That makes me like real happy. Cause I guess like as a as a person, I kind of tend to. I stopped, but I used to, I used to care about opinions a lot. Like, right. I asked the people around me, like, you fuck with this song, you fuck with this song. Now I'm like, oh, I know this shit hard. I know you gonna fuck with this song. <laughs> so where did that confidence come from? Like, how were you able to just dig that out of you and be like, nah, I know I'm hard. I know my music is really uh, important. I I'm gonna come music. clean, man. Like, damn. I don't know. Like, just people that I was meeting, like like different people, like like my like my I've been to my my manager to Cal and shit, like but he from New York and like when pe when different people from different states tell me like they fuck with my shit and right. they're not they don't know me like I'm not like usually like when you when you fuck with a rapper you either see them at a point 
or you know them niggas. You mm-hmm. feel me personally? Like I wasn't at no point when when we when we met. Like I was just bullshitting and rapping and shit. And he was telling me like, bro, you hard. Like take this shit serious and watch. And in one year we just went crazy. Like everybody know you. Yeah. Like I wouldn't say everybody, but uh, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, so like being friends with Yachty, what have you learned from him? Like seeing him blow up and go into the spotlight, what has he taught you as an artist, whether it's about stage control? Mm-hmm. What are some of the things that you learned from him to really become, you know, better at your Yeah, craft? shit, I definitely learned that stage control shit from him, like watching him at the show. Let me get a lot of stuff, right? Watching him at the shows, um, um, like, he got real good crowd control, like, for me, you know, he does. <laughs> You feel me? He like like I told you when that free case supreme shit was going on. He took me on my first tour. To, like two days after I got out of jail, I only had to do two months, like two and a half months. But I got out like, and he took me on tour two days later, the, the Young Thug tour. And it's just crazy to see how much he grew from like back then to like now. It's so, like so I learned a lot from that nigga. Like artist wise, you can't trust niggas. You feel me? You gotta stay at it. You can't get lazy with this shit. Like. Shows, crowd control, all that. He taught me a lot. So, you know I mean? we still super close. So, that's my nigga. Of course. Teach me a lot. So, we're still waiting on this tape for yeah. you and Chase the Money. Yeah. When can fans get the tape? Hey. You said February. I did it's say like February. March 2nd now, I, March 3rd. I did 3rd. say February, man. But, man, we dealing with some label shit right now. So. Yeah. But for sure, I know I said February, but March for sure. Okay. Yeah, for so, sure, for so sure. So March, That's we get the tape. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So what do you think has just been the biggest part about your growth from when you just first started rapping from a joke to now you're like, oh, I'm taking it serious. Like, I'm going on shows. I got I got fans looking forward to seeing me. What do you think has been the biggest growth that you've had? My music? Yeah. Like, my music. That's really what the growth has been like. I just know my shit is hard now. Like right. back in the day, I didn't really have the confidence like that. Like, mm. People used to be telling me my shit was whack. I don't really hear that shit no more. Right. So just that, just me get, gaining confidence in my sound, my music. So what do you think has been like your craziest fan encounter that you've ever had? Whether it's people crying at the show, people running to meet you, what do you think has been the craziest where you've seen the fan go crazy and you're like, oh my God. They, uh, they okay, we was at, this is the last tour at, um, the last tour of me and voting them, um, and this nigga had on a Supreme Box logo. This is like maybe, this is like two years ago, maybe? Mm-hmm. Supreme Box logo. I don't really wear Supreme like that anymore. It's cool, but, but like, he had a Supreme Box logo on, and I guess he thought I wanted it or some shit, and it was cold as fuck. We in Boston. Right. Cold as fuck outside, at least like, about 40. This nigga take his sweaty ass shirt off and try to hand it to me, like, you want this shit? I'm like, why the fuck would I want that sweaty ass shirt? <laughs> Funky ass shirt, but. Right. But yeah, so that was the craziest shit. Somebody just taking their shirt off their back in the cold ass weather trying to get that shit to me. You felt the love right me. there. Yeah. So what do you think, like personal style wise, from how you wear your jewelry, how you wear your clothes, what do you think makes you stand apart and make you case supreme? Mm, my clothes, you feel me? The way I carry myself. I really like clothes. like. I always like to be fresh and shit. Like I don't like, I don't like like no bum shit. Like <laughs> I don't like looking like, cause I feel like when you clean and like when you do that, you at your highest. Like you you at your highest confidence. Like it's a difference. It's a difference of confidence when you look when you look great and then when you look like shit. So I just feel like I just always like got some like some type of shit on me like right. to, to define me that. I really like this clothes shit and like really like being fresh and doing all that type of shit. Even with jewelry, I mean like with everything, with nails, everything, everything is right. Like, is it, everything. The nails clean. Yeah. There's not a lot of guys out there whose nails are like criminal yeah. proper, but yours is on ten. Yeah, it's like all that shit is. A, so and I didn't really understand that. Like, my like, it, it worked though. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> So how does your family feel? You know, they get to hear your songs on the radio. They see yeah. people online going crazy to Gucci Cologne, yeah. 16 all the time. Yeah. Like for moms, pops, your whole family, how does it feel for them to see their loved one on the big screen like that? Like, oh wow, I used to change his diapers. I mm-hmm. fed him every weekend. Like, how does it feel for them? Uh, I know my mama is real happy because I know she ain't know what the fuck I was going to do either. Like, right. So who, who, who mom wouldn't be happy about if their son is succeeding in something that he loves? I mean, he's happy. I'm happy right now, so I know 
when I'm happy, my mom is happy. Like, right. That's all she wants is for me to be happy and like for for me to like be successful. Cause I know it was times when she was scared. Like, I don't know what this nigga gonna be or if he gonna turn out. Exactly. But I just know that's a joy in a mother's heart to see like their kid like excelling and something. And being happy at what they yeah. doing too, making money. So is there anything that you've done to like show mama I love her? Like you bought her. A I just bag her birthday was uh her birthday was yesterday on the twenty eighth. I just bought her a chain from Wafi. I uh Jury Unlimited. I bought her a cake. A, a cake. Uh, chain her name Casey. Really? Yes, yeah, so I bought her a chain yesterday. I gotta send that shit out too. So how does it feel? You know, you got Gucci Cologne going crazy. Everybody knows the song. Everybody dances to it. You got Sixteen going crazy. What is it? How does it feel just having a viral hit and seeing everybody just loving the song, loving the anthem, and just shit? Going I'm, for it? I'm just ready for more. I'm ready to drop my chasing money tape so we can keep shit happening. But it's it's definitely a good feeling though, like. Like waking up and seeing like famous people post my shit and shit like that. That shit is lit. Like, so. Who's the most famous person you've seen getting crazy to Gucci Cologne? Uh, famous? Most famous? Shit. Most famous. For somebody Probably Tyler the Creator. Really? Yeah. Okay. Tyler the Creator. Or Lil Pump is big too, but he ain't bigger than Tyler the Creator. Yeah. Right? Tyler the Creator, definitely. So what's next for Casey Prime? Are we getting merch? Are we getting a tour? We know we getting the tape coming. But what do we have coming for you? And what do you want your fans to know you got coming up? That's crazy. My 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 web shirt. You check my shirt, pick. My shit the blue, the blue truck. But um, shit. Yeah, my tape coming. Um, we ain't put together no tour yet. Um, I'm still in negotiations. So I'm like doing this label shit and doing all this shit. So I ain't. I ain't, um, I ain't got no tour set up yet, but it's coming though. And I'm dropping my tape in March. And yeah, the um, the merch I had today at uh, my show, the Welcome to Flight School shirts, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna post them on the internet probably Monday. Bet. And so, what's some confidence you would give somebody who's trying to become a rapper, or trying to become anything? And they sit in their dorm room and things ain't working out, or they sitting at home, mama getting their nerves, just talking to them, and they don't really have a set plan. What's some some advice that you would give to them to just make sure they keep going so they can be where you at? Shit, rapping ain't for everybody, but <laughs> um, shit, if you love that shit, if you really love it, like I love this shit. It's not like I I really love music and clothes and all that shit. Like I can't I I would I can't go to school because I don't like that shit. So right. I know I wouldn't ex succeed in it because I don't like that shit. Same thing with like a with like a job. Like you know what you like and you're gonna if you do something that, that you like, you always gonna want to do it of and course. go your hardest at it. So I just feel like you gotta really like want to do this shit because it ain't it's a lot of shit people don't know like that be going on with this rap shit rap is funny right but it's like you feel me if you stick to it and you really love it i really feel like you anybody could do it like and if the sky's the limit if you put your head to it that's facts well it's me girl Aja peters and we rocking here with Kathleen. and this has been another film culture production peace out I fell in love with the money, my chain is so cold that I made her nose running. Remember been bro with no food in your town. my Benny Hunters taking pictures with hunnids. Yeah. I had to go get that money. Me and my brothers, we came up from nothing.